okay students today we are going to learn about present continuous tense and you can see some picture in the first picture they are dancing in the second picture can you guess mm -hmm. they are singing third picture can you guess oh yes they are reading and fourth picture what can you say about that they are running and next picture can you guess what are they doing they are jumping and can you see another picture what is she doing she is writing and what about the next picture oh she is te teaching and what about the last picture it's eating okay students now we are going to learn the rule of present continuous tense first rule is present continuous tense is happening action so what is happening in the first picture they are dancing so this is present continuous tense the second picture what is happening they are singing in the third picture what is happening they are reading and can you guess what is happening oh they are running and next picture what is happening they are jumping and what about the next picture oh there is a girl she is writing okay and about the next picture what is the lady is doing she is teaching and what is the boy doing he is eating okay and now let us learn second rule present continuous is daily changing and developing action that means it takes long time to become see plants they do not become like that in one day it takes long time these plants are growing day by day see in the same way the lady did not become so in one day so it takes long time for us so she is getting thinner nowadays you can see the picture of pollution that does not happen in one day it also takes long time the city is being polluted and you can also see the map of world population that does not happen so in one day so the population of the world is increasing each year these are present continuous tense okay now let us learn about third rule present continuous tense can also be used to show that something will or will not happen in the new year future you have to note here near future okay near future the action will happen she is not going to the game tonight see near future and again let us see another example he is meeting his friends after school after school remember there are you visiting your cousins this weekend this weekend this also talks about near future so these are present continuous tense talking about near future i am not going to the meeting after work walk see there after work you have to note right these are near future actions so they will be in present continuous tense and is john playing football today she not sure asking right whether happens in future or not so let us learn fourth rules present continuous tense can be used for actions that are still happening in the time of speaking happening in the time of speaking remember there speaker is speaking and the action is happening there you have to note that okay let us see example mark is making pizza now they are eating lunch right now Francis is talking on the phone at the moment.
happening in the time of speaking. Okay, now let us learn next rule. Present continuous tense can be used to describe actions that are being repeated. Words like always, constantly, forever are used along with the verbs. Let us see some examples. Repeated words, okay. Repeated action, I am sorry, not words, repeated action. Jack and Zilla are always fighting, always fighting, constantly complaining, forever misplacing. See there, in these examples, always fighting, constantly complaining, forever misplacing. Okay, now let us see the next rule. Present continuous tense can be used when speaking about current tense. Current tense means what is exactly happening these days. Shopping online is growing popularity nowadays. Everybody likes online shopping, right? The stocks are dropping constantly due to economy. Due to economy, this is happening day by day. It means. Today, most of the people are using text message instead of phone. Yes, instead of phone, text message. Let us learn another rule. Another use of this tense is when talking about a plant even in the future. Action will happen in the future, but it is plan. Let us see example. You can see some examples there. Leaving tomorrow. The, we are leaving for the beach tomorrow morning means we have plan. We might have pack our bags like that. Kids are arriving at 6 o'clock. She is speaking at the conference. This evening means there will be the, some preparation on this sentence. Okay, now next rule we can use present continuous tense to give uh, strong order. Order in military style, right? That will be very, very cruel order. Very strong order. Let us see some example. You are not moving in ANC. You can see the exclamation sign that makes the sentence order, right? You are standing here, not going anywhere like that. So this is very strong order. Order like in military way. Let us learn another rule. We can use present continuous tense to draw the attention of people. How? Let us see example. Keep quiet. The teacher is coming, taking attention. Okay, Shh, the baby is sleeping like that. Okay, there are certain verbs that cannot be used in present continuous tense. The following verbs are non-continuous. So uh, some words used in communication like agree, promise, surprise. Some words used for feeling like ik, love, hate, and sense. Some words used for sense here, see, smell, testing. Some words used for thinking, believe, know, understand. We cannot make ing form of them like loving, hating, hearing, seeing, understanding, believing, knowing. So they are generally used in simple present tense, not in any continuous tense, not only in the future continuous tense, not in any continuous tense. Thank you, students. Goodbye. Only this must be.